In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at converting decimals into fractions. So this topic is really easy. So we're going to start off by writing these numbers so 0 0.7, 0 0.51, and 0 0.71. So we're going to convert these numbers into fractions by using the place value table, such as this one right here. So let's start by writing 0 0.7 in the place value table. Firstly, we have to match the decimal point correctly in line with the decimal point in the place value table, such as this one right here. So we have to make sure this decimal point right here is in line with this decimal point. So that means the decimal point goes right here. And then in front of the decimal point is a zero. So write the zero down. And after the decimal point is a seven. So write the seven as well. Now, to convert this into fractions, we need to have a look at the number after the decimal point to determine the numerator. The number after the decimal point is seven. That means seven will be our numerator. So we can write that down first. 7 will be our numerator, and to find the denominator, we're going to look at the number of digits after the decimal point. In this case, we only have one digit after the decimal point, so that means 10 will be our denominator, since one place after the decimal point is tenths. That means our denominator will also be a 10. So therefore, the answer to 0 0.7 converted into a fraction is 7 over 10. Let's have a look at the next example which is 0 0.51. Now, with this example, we're going to do the same thing as we did before in the previous example. Start by aligning the decimal point with the decimal point in the place value table, so right here. So write the decimal point first, write the number in front of the decimal point, so zero, so before the decimal point is zero, and after the decimal point is five and one. So write those ones down, five, and then write the one in the next column. Now we have 0 0.51. The numerator is going to be the number after the decimal point. 51, 51 is going to be our numerator. And then for the denominator, it's the number of digits after the decimal point. In this case, we have two digits after the decimal point. And two digits after the decimal point is a hundred. And that means our denominator will also be a hundred which means our answer is 51 over 100 for 0 0.51 converted as a fraction. So let's move on to the next one, which is 0 0.71. So let's start by writing this number down in the place value table. So make sure the decimal point is in line with this decimal point right here. So the decimal point goes right here, and then the number in front of the decimal point or before the decimal point is zero. So write zero, and then the two numbers after the decimal point are 7 and 1. So write those in the next column. Now we have 0 0.71. So we have 7, 1 as the numbers after the decimal point. This means our numerator will be 71. And for a denominator, we have to count the number of digits after the decimal point. In this case, there are two. And two places after the decimal point is obviously the hundreds. So we have hundreds as two places after the decimal point. So in our denominator, it will also be a 100. So we can write that down as well. So 71 over 100. So that means our answer to 0 0.71 converted into a fraction is 71 over 100. In this question, as you guys could see, we have a whole number and we also do not have a place value table. So in this case, we're going to work this question out differently. So the thing to remember is that whenever you have a whole number, the answer will always be a mixed number. So the answer will always be a mixed number when you have a whole number. So let's start by working this question out, which is 1.23. So we know that this is going to be a mixed number. And the whole number will be one, just like in the decimal. So let's write the one down. Next, we're going to find the numerator. The numerator 
is the number after the decimal point. In this case, it's 2, 3 or 23. So write the 23 and then count the number of digits after the decimal point, which is 2. So that means two points after the decimal point is a hundred and therefore our denominator will also be a hundred, which means we get an answer of 123 over 100. So let's go on to the next one, which is 8.473. Now in this example, we're going to do the same thing once again. So this is going to be a mixed number. The whole number is going to be the eight. So write the eight down and then the numerator is going to be the number after the decimal point, 473. So write the 473. And then the denominator is the number of digits after the decimal point. The number of digits is 3. So that means 3 digits after the decimal point is a 1,000. So it's going to be a 1,000. And therefore, our denominator will also be a 1,000. So we get an answer of 8, 473 over 1000 and let's go to our final example which is 5.761 firstly we know that the whole number is going to be 5 so write the 5 down and then we know that the 761 which is the number after the decimal point is going to be the numerator so write the 761 and that means three places after the decimal point is a thousand and therefore our denominator will also be a thousand and therefore, our answer to this question is 5,761 over 1,000. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.